Hi everybody, Ian here. Today in our Advent devotionals, we're going to look at a little verse from Zephaniah, chapter 3 and verse 17. Now, I think this is a verse that's well, well worth looking at in different translations because it gets treated quite differently, uh, especially the idea of quietness. But one of my favourites is the English Standard Version, and that's where I'm going to read from now. It says this, The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty one who will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you with his love and he will exult over you with loud singing. Now, I think this is just fantastic. God is not just a creator who set the world in motion and disappeared. No, what Zephaniah tells us is he's here right in the midst of us, protecting and being with us and living with us. And not only is God here in the midst of us, He's almighty God. He's mighty to save. He can save us from our external fears. Uh, sorry, our internal fears. He can save us from our external circumstances. And of course, most importantly, he can save us from the consequences of sin and death. And that takes us well into the heart of the Christmas story and the reason why Jesus as a tiny baby came. So why is God doing this? because of his love, it really sings out in this little verse. He rejoices over us with gladness. He is so pleased and proud of his creation, of us, his image-bearing creation. He rejoices over us, his people. He'll, he'll quiet us. How? With his love. Like a mother with a child, soothing a child, God cares so much. He'll hold us and he'll quieten us, just pouring his love over us. And he'll exult over you with loud singing. And I have no reason to believe that the voice of the Lord is anything other than fantastically beautiful. You may not want me to exult over you with loud singing, but to have God exult over you with loud singing, that is something else. We are so privileged to have this God who not only made us, not only lives with us, but delights in doing so. Let's pray together. Lord and Heavenly Father, we are so grateful that you love us this much, that you delight over us, that you quieten us, that you protect us with your love and that you rejoice and exult over us, Lord, with loud singing. Lord, help us today to share that love with others. Help us to Take what's flowing through us from your love and pour it out onto the world. Thank you, Father, for your goodness to us. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day. 